This ultralight glove was jointly developed by the EPFL and the ETH in Zurich. It was designed to allow users to grasp and feel virtual objects with a high degree of realism, so the user can really feel an object that doesn't exist. Unlike existing solutions that are typically based on large exoskeletons or bulky fluidics or thick cables, our solution is extremely lightweight and portable. The glove over here, it weighs only 8 grams and is 2 millimeters thick. It requires only 200 volts and a few milliwatts, which means we could easily miniaturize the electronics and add a small battery to have a fully portable solution, allowing users to be completely free when they manipulate objects in virtual reality. In the virtual environment, when the user is about to make contact with an object, the glove blocks the finger's motions, and that gives a highly realistic sensation of actually touching a real object. So the way it works is that we have two metal strips on each finger, and they normally can slide very easily, allowing the fingers just to move very naturally without blocking the motion. However, as soon as we apply a voltage between the strips, in a few milliseconds, they're blocked together, and that prevents the user from then closing his hand. We have up to 40 newtons of force per finger, and that means we can generate sensations of holding a very, very hard coffee cup, but also something soft like a sponge. The system was tested by our partners in Zurich on several volunteers. They were asked to perform virtual reality manipulation and grasping tasks that required a high level of precision. The results were extremely promising. Users reported feeling uh, very accurate sensations of touching objects and were very accurate in the tasks they were assigned. With further improvements, uh, we plan to develop eventually a complete suit for virtual reality environments.